I, I just know the importance of kids being involved with something. Um, nowadays, coaches want their players to specialize, and I, I can't stand that because if a coach would have told me, don't play basketball, I want you in the weight room, I would have said, uh, well, I'm not going to play for you then, or I'm gonna, I would have rode the bench because I didn't go lift all winter. And I think it, I, I can't stand to hear like a, a coach tell a kid that they don't want them to play a sport because they think that, 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 that that's a coach being selfish. So for me, you know, it's going to happen. There's coaches that do it all around, and uh, I think youth should be involved in something. They shouldn't ever sit and do nothing. And, and I don't think weights are good for kids until they get to a, a mature level as, a, as a, their bodies mature to even go into a weight room. I, I, I played handball. I played handball in the off season during the winter. Anytime we could in high school, I played handball with my brothers, whoever would play. And I didn't play a bunch, but I played enough that my feet, my hands, my mental toughness was all accelerated. So when I got into tough situations as a, as a football player, you know, I, I, I didn't draw back to that and think about handball, but I know it was, it was part of handball that made me mentally tough enough to face adversity on the field, to get through it. And I, I went through phases where I couldn't hit the ball with my left. I tried, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten times in a row I would hit the ball into the ground. When I was a young kid playing some old guy in the seas and they just kept drilling my left. So it uh, teaches such mental toughness and to see these young kids fight through that and to keep pushing it. I mean, these kids will be successful doing whatever. Our youth program here locally hasn't grown quite yet. Um, you know, with clubs and dues and what people make you pay and this and that. We're getting it going. We got some youth in Spokane and there's kids around that play, but then they also play high school sports. So it's tough to have them commit to a whole program for a month, two months, three months. But we have a, a group of kids in Sandpoint that uh, they got addicted last year to playing handball. And they're baseball players, they're football players, soccer players. You know, when they get through college maybe, they, that's when they start playing handball again. And we got them to taste it, enough of a taste that they, they're addicted now. And I think that's how you grow the game. You, know, you can't demand them to play and to keep going. They're going to go do what they do in college, go do things, but if you can keep them Get them interested enough to, want them, to bring them back when they're in their late teens, maybe early 20s. That's how the game's going to grow, I think. And then uh, if we can get enough young kids started, which uh, you say I don't have a, a, a large passion for that, but we've got to get the right direction, get the right amount of kids, get the right things set up. I don't want to just do it when I'm not able to be there and be part of something solid. But that will come. That will come with time. Uh, I'm retired, I don't have anything to do, and uh, when the time comes, I'm, I'm going to get a youth program started up here that will at least help grow it in the Northwest.